Hello, class. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm good. How is it going, class? How is it going? It, this is a very similar expression as how are you? But ah, okay. how is it going? Ah, ¿Cómo one. le va? ¿Cómo le está yendo? How are you? ¿Cómo estás? Ven, es la de, es I'm, igual. So good, I'm good. I'm so good. good. Very good. Very good. Why? Because yeah. it's Thursday, right? You really like Thursdays. No? Let me go to the platform. Do you remember the topic from yesterday? What were we practicing yesterday? ¿Qué practicamos ayer? That's WH question. WH questions. And answers and small answers. Exactly, short answer. Yes. And yes or no, or no question. Mm -hmm. Yes and no. Si se fijan, how is it going? Lo que les pregunto al inicio de la clase, ese es un ejemplo claro. How are you? How is it going? Let's go to section number, section number two, okay? Section number two, yeah. the class four. Class number four. Did you complete the exercises from section one and section two? Do yes. you have questions about this topic? I'm finished. Section one, I have a question. Please. The part of the WH questions, WH words, the answer. Uh -huh. Dan las respuestas como incorrectas, entonces no sé si así lo dejamos o qué hacer en ese caso. No, hay que, lo que comentamos en la pasada. Oh, yeah. Veamos ahorita. Don't worry, corrijámoslas ahorita. Section one, ¿verdad? Section number one. Es el antepenúltimo ejercicio. Let me see. Please call me Beth and the... Let me see. Y si this one. one Ese ejercicio me costó no. tanto. Que me one, one this one. Yes. Yes, no, long answers. Ah, porque no son short answers. They are long answers. Remember. Sí, sir, pero uh -huh. pero en, las, en las últimas dos, la tres y la cuatro, sí podrían ser respuestas cortas. No, ¿por qué? ¿Qué nos están pidiendo? Aquí dice, remember to give either a complete affirmative or negative answer. Recuerde escribir su respuesta completa, ya sea de forma afirmativa o negativa. Y recuerde colocar el punto al final. A veces nos da problemas por el punto, por puntuación. Las últimas dos dice, is your English class in the morning? Y como no es in the morning, no solo decimos no is not. Le ponemos el complemento, no. Is not in the morning. Punto. Y si el caso fuera a mí no me agarró la respuesta, respuesta. Dicho, porque a mí sí me la agarró en afirmativo y en respuesta propia. Sí, es que agarra también afirmativo. Yes, it's in the morning. También acepta afirmativo, of course. Yes, Irma. Sí, eso le, le iba a decir que yo las puse en respuesta corta y me las aceptó correctamente. Ok, pero sí la indicación, aquí decía respuesta completa. Y en number okay. four dice, are you and your best friend the same age? Esto depende, como es personal information, you can have affirmative responses or negative responses. So in my case, no, we are not. That is the short form. But as they are asking me to write complete sentences, no, we are not the same age, right? So that is a complete expression. More comments about section number one? Or can we move on to section number two? Any other comment? Or was this 
the only exercise that you were not able to complete? Pregunta sobre otro ejercicio de la section number one. O estamos fine. Are we fine with the exercises? Creo que eso era lo más difícil. I am fine. Bien. 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 Hi. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Vamos. Um, ya vimos. W. Question. This is a reading conversation. We can avoid that video. But this one, I really like this one. Time expressions in English. Time expressions. Let me start with this one, but let me show you. Siempre les muestro que clase vamos. This is class number eight, of course. Class number eight. And the topic for today is... No, this is not class number eight. For you, this is class number four. Because it's the first week. Time expressions in English. I can hear a baby. Escucha un bebé por ahí. Whose baby is that? <laughs> Whose baby? So look. Section number two. How do you spend your day? And the topic is time expressions. This is class number four. And this is the teacher's name. In English, if you remember, we have prepositions of place. Do you remember the prepositions of place? Can you give me some examples about preposition of place? In, near, on, near to. In, in, near to. Mm -hmm. In front of. Near, to, behind, near next to. Behind. Between, in front between. of. So, in, in English, of. we also have prepositions of time, time, you know? Not only prepositions of place, but also preposition of times. After, before. Mm -hmm. Or we can also call this preposition of time as time expressions. Okay? También le llamamos time expressions, porque a veces son no solo palabras o preposiciones, sino frases completas, time expressions. So, between, dentro de esta categoría, among this category, de las time expressions, tenemos las prepositions of time. Ok, habiendo dicho eso, vámonos, let's go to the platform and let's watch this video with the information. Here we go. Time expressions in English. Here we go. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions, such as prepositions and adverbs of time. Time expressions. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before noon on Sundays. I wake up afternoon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. Seven. Seven. Seven o'clock. Seven a.m. equals seven in the morning. 7 p.m. equals 7 in the evening. Okay, so now let's talk about at, in, and on. At. This preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time, including exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 at night. In. This pre okay, let's just stop here. The first preposition that we have in the example is at. When are we going to use this preposition? Whenever we want to talk about specific time, you know, not time in general, specific, tiempo específico. To discuss an specific time, 
you know? For example, we have classes at 8 p.m. ¿Estamos siendo específicos o no? We have classes at yes. 8 p.m. Very specific time. We have classes at 8 at night. We can also include this expression, at night. So, ¿cuál es la primera preposición? At. At. For a specific time. Can you give me more examples using the preposition at? Mm -hmm. At. Es para tiempo, horas. Más que todo, no tiempo en sí. Horas. At. I get up at six in the morning. I get up at six in the morning. What time do you go to bed? What time do you go to bed? Go to bed. I go to bed at midnight. At midnight, every day, or some days in the week. Some days in the week because if I have I have homework. Ah, that's why. Yeah, the same happens to me, but you know. Aclaremos esto. At for a specific time that is not going to change. Ok, no puede ser cambiante. Pero si les pregunto a qué hora se levantan, ¿son exactos para levantarse? A las 5 en punto, no 5 y 1, no 4 eh, y 55. ¿Será que podemos hacer eso? ¿O somos exactos siempre? Yes. yes. Se levantan exactamente a las 5 en punto, no después de las 5, no antes de las 5. I guess not, right? Whenever we want to express time and we are not specific or we are not sure about the exact time, we can also use the expression around. Si hablo de tiempo, pero no estoy segura de la hora exacta, ocupo la expresión around en vez de at. I wake up uh, around 5.30 a.m. ¿Qué estoy queriendo decir? I wake up around 5.30 a.m. Que me levanto alrededor de las 5.30 de la mañana. Entonces, ¿qué lapso de tiempo me incluye? Uh -huh. Puede ser de las 5 a las 5. De las 5, 5, 25, 6. O de las 5, 30 en adelante. No es exacto. Pero si les pregunto, what time? Uh, algo que sea exacto, díganme, hora exacta, que no cambie. En el clase de inglés. We have classes at 10. 9. I have classes. At nine, you see? This is the time, yes. at 9 p.m. Ahí mm -hmm. se ocupo at, because I'm being specific about the time. Specific time at. Is this clear or are these examples clear? Yes? It's clear. No? Bien. Let's continue. Preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night, months, and years. Examples, we have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in 1989. Second preposition of time, in. This preposition of time is used to discuss general times. A specific times or general times? Look at the difference. General times. General times of day, except night, months, and year. Miren las excepciones. No vamos a incluir night, months, and years. The examples that we have here 
we have classes in the morning. We have classes in the afternoon. Pero podemos decir, we have classes in the night. No. 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 Por eso es una excepción. Mm -hmm. That's why this is an exception. Por eso es excepción, porque no va con esa expresión o con esa frase. We have classes in the morning. It's okay. We have classes in the afternoon. It's okay. We have classes in the evening. It's okay. Can we say we have classes in the midnight? In the midnight. Existe no. esa expresión? No. What do we say then? At midnight. At night. At noon. So let's include examples here. Incluyámosle más ejemplos a la expresión at. At midnight. At night. At noon. At, at, at. Excellent. At midnight, at night. Y estas ya son expresiones. Time expressions. And my graduation is in June. My birthday is in July. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, no sé, pero eh, ahí decía, ¿verdad? De que no íbamos a incluir, digamos, noche, eh, meses y año. No sé si entendí mal. Ahí Vaya. en... en, en eh, les explico a qué se refiere con meses. Miren, my graduation is in June. Vámonos al ejemplo. ¿Puedo borrar esto? Can I erase this one? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Creo que escribo muy abajo. Vamos a escribir más arriba. My graduation is in June. Estamos hablando de a specific time or general time. General time. Mm -hmm. What day of June is my graduation? ¿Qué día de junio es mi graduación? No, 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 no estoy siendo específica. No es específica. Ah, ¿y qué si quiero ser específica? My graduation is on June 16. Mes a las 3 de la tarde. At 3 p.m. Ok. Más específica. Ahí sí sería specific time. So, aquí es específico. Miren, por eso ocupo la preposición on. Pero en este caso, month. Ahí dice month, ¿verdad? Sí. Exceptuando meses y años. Mm. ¿Se referirá solo a la, a la palabra en sí, meses y años? At months, at years. On months, at years. Months. Creería que es la expresión, porque no es en sí los ejemplos de los años. Yes. Se habrán equivocado en la plataforma. Yes, guess, right? I guess. I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that, right? ¿Cómo Mejor? se diría, um, digamos, mm -hmm. uh, yo nací... En 1984, ahí iría. In. 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 Porque solo es el año. Pero si ya somos específicos, mes, día, año, es on. ¿Ok? Veamos el ejemplo de on. On. Estaría bien contradictorio entonces, teacher. Why? El... The centuries. Ah, ok. Miss, o sea que si se menciona solamente el muy mes o solamente el momento del día, digamos, la, 
la noche, la mañana o el muy año, entonces es in. In. Sí, pero no solo la hora del día, no. Hay excepciones. Ya les dije que no todas van con in. In the morning, sí. In the afternoon, yes. In the evening, yes. Pero exceptuamos en este caso night, night. y midnight. Son también dos tiempos del día, pero eso lo quitamos porque llevan otra preposición. Veamos on. The time is Spanish. used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, specific dates. Examples, we will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th. Wait, so se fue muy rápido. Days so of the week or... On, the preposition on, is used to discuss certain days of the week. También está siendo específica. Creo que esta es la específica, la más específica. Or portions of days of the week. And also specific days. We will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th. En otras palabras, para distinguir las at, sería para qué? Para horas. Time. Ocupamos 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 8 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Time. A specific time. In. We are going to use in when we talk about general time. On. This preposition of time is going to be used when we are specific specific and we talk about days of the week and also specific dates let's have some other examples of the preposition on más ejemplos con on when do you have classes do you have classes on monday yes do you have classes on tuesday yes Do you go to work on Sunday? Hmm? Probably yes or not. Ah, ok. Pero si es una probabilidad, no podemos. ¿Quién, ¿Quién no va a trabajar ningún domingo? Sunday. ¿Por qué les pregunto eso? I don't work o I don't go Bro, yo... to work. On look Sundays. Cuando una acción es repetitiva y pasa muchos, en este caso muchos domingos, many Sundays, lo vamos a pluralizar. I don't go to work on Sundays. I always have classes on Mondays, look. Mondays. Why do I write Mondays and not singular Monday? Because I repeat the same activity this Monday, next Monday, the other one that is coming as well. Por eso podemos ponerlo en plural. We celebrate Christmas in o pongámosle no, seamos específicos on December when do we celebrate Christmas in El Salvador 25 24th, right? Yes. 24th. We celebrate Christmas on 24 8, 25. Okay, let's try 25 then. In the midnight. Okay, then. Okay. So on or in? 
look, um, am I being specific or not? We celebrate Christmas on or in? Um, Why? It's very because specific. we are specific because with the date. Specific. But look at this sentence. We celebrate Christmas on in December. In December. In December. Why? It's general. Because general. it's general. Because it's general, right? Okay. Muy bien. Preguntas, preguntas sobre esto podemos ir a la práctica. Can we go to the practice now? Teacher, eh, respecto a los, yo tengo que consultar respecto a los, a los centuries, a los, como a las décadas, uh -huh. y sobre los holidays. Okay. ¿De cuál es el propósito? Okay. Excelente. Vamos a la respuesta. Centuries. ¿A dónde ven esa parte? Centuries. At, it, or on. Mm -hmm. Where can you identify? In. In. Mm -hmm. in the 20th century. In the 80s. In 1999. In the summer, in the spring. Veamos, ¿quién me ayuda a leer? Who can help me out to read examples using the preposition at? Let me have some volunteers. Ya hablé mucho. Now you need to participate. Who can read this example? Volunteers. I have two volunteers. I, I, have so many, I have so many volunteers now. So let's divide the exercises. Let's start with the primera que me aparece es Irma. Irma, please. Read these two examples, please, using at. At four o'clock or, or at ten and dear, no, at noon, at midnight and lunch time and dinner time. Okay, at ten thirty. Very good job. It is Elena. Continue, please. Holidays and expressions. Preposition of time with at holidays at Christmas, at Easter, at the weekend. Expression at present, at the moment, at night. Excellent. Edgardo, continue with these three other examples. Okay, in the eight oh, in the April, in the summer, in the spring, in nineteen ninety. Okay, well, once again, month in the April or in April? In April. Ah, excellent! In April, very good. Let me have. ¿Quién bajó la mano? Ya no veo manos levantadas. One. Raise your hand if you want to participate. Virtual participation. Class, acuerden cuando comparto pantalla no los puedo ver a todos. Let me see. Elvis, continue. De decades, centuries, and long periods. Okay. Decades in the 80s. Centuries in the 20th century, long periods in the ice age, in the present, in the past. Very good job. Aleli, continue. Parts of the day, and then you move to days. Please. Okay. On Tuesday, on Saturday, on my birthday. On Christmas Day, um, Halloween. Um, date on June fifteenth. On May. Oh, yes, I'm, it's and is si 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 si. You say twenty twenty. Um, or anniversary, 
How do Part you say 20 in ordinal? <laughs> claro. 20th. 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 On our anniversary, <laughs> part of the specific date, on Monday morning, on Friday evening, on Saturday night, on Sunday afternoon. Very good job. Let me have. Why do you. ¿Quién más está? ¿Por qué bajan la mano, chicos? Why do you do that? You know, cuando comparto pantalla solo veo a tres, a tres camaritas. Gabriela, Gabriela wanted to participate. ¿Por qué baja la mano? Gaby, parts of the day. No leímos esta. In parts of the day. Give me the examples, please. Ok, parts of the day. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night. Ok, and what are the exceptions? Las excepciones. The exceptions. Look. The ones that in it parts of at night. Day. At night. We cannot say in. We say at night. And can you also read this information, please, Gabby? Yeah. Last. Next. Call me next week. Call me next weekend. I met her last Friday. I met her last Friday. Ah, okay. So these are some other expressions. Look, aparte de las preposiciones, tenemos last and next. Call me next weekend. I met her last Friday. Questions about this information? Emerson, please. I'll have the question, teacher. Please. Solo para que me quede algo claro. Uh -huh. Dijo que la preposición at is a expression a specific time. Uh -huh. eh, la expression in in the general time. Pero la on, ¿cuándo se ocupa? General time. General information. Uh -huh. En general. Eh, de la misma forma que in. O oh, in or on. In, general time. No, in is general and on is specific. Yes. I guess I misunderstood. Hey, okay. class, you know, it's raining. Ya empezó a llover por acá. So, let me see. Look, this is, yes, questions. I'm sorry. Uh, in the preposition at, uh -huh. is used we, when we use holidays. But in the preposition of, on, Está Halloween. Well, ah, holidays at Christmas, at Easter, at the weekend. Maybe this is an exception, right? Maybe or probably this is an exception. Yes, but we can also say this one. On Halloween. Irma. Yo creo que tengo una forma así como que de entenderlo con respecto a lo de the holidays yes y halloween okay porque ay puedo poner la imagen otra vez porque ya okay. me okay <laughs> no, no, don't worry go <laughs> now you have information <laughs> no ahí, ahí está okay es porque a mí me explicó una amiga que con respecto a eso de que en el caso de que en at dice at Christmas uh -huh. y en on dice Christmas Day, entonces por lo de holidays, ella me explicó que es cuando se refiere a cierto grupo de días eh, que tienen fechas en específico, uh -huh. Uh -huh. por ejemplo, holidays, Christmas, no hace referencia al muy día específico de, de Navidad, sino que como que a la semana de vacaciones, o sea, los días feriados que son de Navidad, lo mismo de Pascua y lo mismo fin de semana. Y por eso es que en ON ya especifica ON Christmas Day. Sí, y en okay. el caso de Halloween, Halloween no es una temporada, porque como no es feriado ni nada, sino que es un día específico solo como para fiesta. Ok, ¿y qué si quisiéramos decir el día específico de Halloween? 
¿Cuándo es, es Halloween? Holidays es vacaciones, entiendo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Holidays es vacaciones. Uh -huh. Y yes. ON uh -huh. se refiere al día de la en fiesta. En específico. Uh -huh. Sí. Ajá. Veamos. Entonces, sí, porque yo también no. me, me confundí en eso y así fue como a mí me lo explicaron y ya, ya no me perdí tanto. Ah, miren, ON. Halloween. Creo que tiene... Gracias, Iris, por ese aporte, en serio. Eh, si lo vemos de esta manera, tiene mucha razón. On Halloween, eh, casi siempre como es un día único, la celebración, pero se acostumbra casi siempre a extender como la celebración o desde mucho antes. Eh, en este caso se incluyen varias actividades antes del día específico, right? Es lo mismo con Navidad. Es como una época, temporada, que puede abarcar incluso no solo el mes de diciembre. Acá en El Salvador, ¿qué hacemos? What do we do in El Salvador? ¿Desde cuándo nos preparamos para Christmas? El de octubre. octubre. Desde octubre. Entonces, si nos referimos... se pone caro. Así como uno se va preparando para decir. I don't know. En ese caso, si es una temporada, ¿qué sería entonces? On, o can we say at? Sería at. 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 At, at Christmas, at. right? Y si digo Christmas time, Elmo, Christmas time. On. At or on? On. 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 On Christmas time. Okay, because I'm being specific any other question or comment about this one you see it's very interesting it's interesante ver cómo podemos express time in english or time expressions let's go to the practice in el caso del salvador teacher sería the mother days on mother days do you think but on mother's day ¿Será que nos agarramos todo el mes de mayo para Mother's Day? No, es right. on, on, Mother ah, Day, porque solo sería el día. Yes, right, so it's only that. There are some celebrations that they only include the specific day, but there are mm -hmm. some others in which we have so many dates include. Okay, so that's okay. a great example. Now, ahora sería sí. Sería como, como decir, at eh, ¿Mm? week holiday. Ah, okay. La Semana Santa. ¿verdad? The Holy Week. Miren, les agrego más expresiones. I have some other examples about time expressions. At, in, and on are include. But I also have early and until. Early. Do you know the meaning of early? What is this? Temprano. Temprano, 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 until, ¿qué será until? Hasta. Hasta. Hasta, muy bien. Until, what time? Tomorrow. Go to bed? Um, until midnight, hasta la medianoche, or until tomorrow. ¿Cuándo nos vamos a volver a ver para la próxima clase? Until Monday, hasta. Okay, so that is the meaning of until. Conversation between two people, A and B. What is the instruction for this exercise? You are going to complete the conversation with time expressions from this box. And you can use some words more than once. If you want to repeat the expressions, that's okay. Is it clear what we are going to do right now? Yes? yes. No? So let's go and work. Ya se los envío WhatsApp, but first let's go and work with your classmates. Teacher la lista. Yes, at the end. Don't worry. Thank you. Okay. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. So go and work with your classmates. I'm going to send this picture. No, so you don't WhatsApp picture. Um. I I know why.
Can please somebody write or type hi in the chat, please? Alguien que escriba hi en el chat eh, de WhatsApp. So I can identify the chat. Ah, thank you. There we go. Ya tenemos ahí three highs. Great. Did you get it now? Ah, there we go. Okay, eh, Elvis, Fatima, tuvieron problemas para unirse. Do you have problems to join? No? Brian, Gladys, Ana Gabriela. Ah, there we go. Alguien puede compartir la pantalla. Eh, Carlos. Hi, teacher. <laughs> teacher. At, at, at six. Yeah, Daisy. Daisy at six. 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 At. Uh -huh. Y la siguiente expresión sería también at. I work at. I work at. Yes. At. Ok. Sigamos, Gabriela. Sigue tú con la siguiente. Wait a minute, please, because the image is not, no la puedo ver. Me está cargando la compra. Okay, Irma. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. I wore the same horse. The same. But I, uh, the same. Horse. horse uh -huh. But I wore uh -huh. in night, in night, I start for the same hours, but I work at night. I start at six. Sería, that's interesting. I wore the same tour, but in, I wore in the evening and finish at three half. At Falseria in the Primera. That's interesting. I wore same tours. Seria in. But I work at night. I start at Yo trabajo night no está ah no no es no, no, en la noche va uh -huh. sería in in the night. I work at night No porque la, la, bueno allí decía en en la en la imagen que nos presenta la teacher de que in eh, bueno generalmente lo íbamos a usar en digamos in the morning en en mes o en para night and midnight. Ajá. En ese caso es el at. Sí. At. Sí. At. Sí. Ya me perdí. Entonces. At night. Yo inicio. Sí. Oh, Virgen Santa, tengo que repasar las horas en inglés. En sí, algo, el, un tiempo en literal A, en el literal A, dice, that in interesting, I work the same hours, but I work, y creo que sería at night, y de ahí dice, I start, que yo comienzo, creo que sí sería at, de ahí dice, in the evening, no sería sí, temprano, sería, sería at, y sería in the evening. Uh, y ahí lo demás, y no sé, ayuden ustedes ahí. Okay, sería, I start at 6 
30, 6, 13, mm -hmm. and, and finish. Está de que se trabaja desde la noche, desde las 6 y media de la noche mm -hmm. hasta las 3 y 30 del, en la mañana. Correcto. Entonces sería at, in the evening. At in the morning. At 3.30 in the morning. 3.30 in the morning. Ah. Uh, entonces mm -hmm. antes de 3.30 era hasta, ¿verdad? Va. Ahorita es, digamos que después de la coma, but I work in, at night. Uh -huh. I mm -hmm. start at 6.30 in the evening and finish creo que aquí sería at 3 30 y de ahí in the morning mm. eso es lo que yo pienso no sé ustedes what time do you ok I will what help time at do you up? what time do you get up Ok, y luego en eh, literal A, eh, where I get home at for, sorry, I go to bed at five, cinco y media, and I sleep. Mm. Sleep. I sleep up. Mm -hmm. I sleep up dog, I sleep up too. But I only wore on weekend. Uh -huh, I says on weekend. I work. So it's okay. I work on. On Monday. On Monday. Yeah, I get up. I get up early, around 5 a.m. Okay. Did you finish? Creo que sí. No. Ok. Yes, no. Sí, pero no estamos seguros, teacher. Ah. No worry. Exacto. Exacto. Dicen, come on, class. Let's go and check the answer. Vamos a chequear las respuestas. Don't worry. Hi. What happened, Gladys? Did you have problem? Yeah, because of the rain, I guess. So before we check this exercise, I'm going to check the attendance list. Antes que algo pase, mejor tomo la asistencia. I'm going to check the attendance list. Let me... Sure. Yes. Acá comenzó a llover y pues de pronto y ya no me conecto. Así de que ahí me tomo en cuenta. Ah, ok, ok. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah, you know the same as here. Escucho bien bajito. Súper bajito. So... Ay, teacher, no nos alcanzó el time. Why not? Yeah, yeah we do. Todavía estábamos peleando ahí con el at, con el on y el until. Y más que César no se ponía de acuerdo. Qué triste con César, Dios mío. Thank you. Thank you. César. A César, César le decía. La culpa. A Lili, no, 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 no peleen, chicos. Don't, don't fight. Okay. Here we go. Hoy sí tengo que compartirlo porque quiero verlos. No los veo. A Lili Concepción. Present teacher. Ana Gabriela. Ana Karina. Present. Ana Stephanie. Mm 
Andrea Isabel. Present. Okay. Brian Edwin. <laughs> no. Brian Isaac. Present. Carlos Present. Eden. Present. Is there Cesar Alexander? Present teacher. Cristelia Rosalina. Present teacher. Daisy Magdalena. Here I am teacher. Edgardo Antonio. I'm here teacher. Eduardo Elias. Present teacher. Edwin Ernesto. Present teacher. Elvis Aníbal. I'm here. Okay. Emerson Alexander. Present. Esperanza Isabel. Fátima Esmeralda. Present teacher. Fernando Arturo. Present teacher. Gabriela Lisset. Present teacher. Gladys Elizabeth. Present teacher. Glenda Abigail. Present teacher. Iris Elena. Here Miss. Irma Raquel. Present. Isabel Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jasmine Yvonne. Present teacher. Jeremías Ezequiel. Present. Jessica Janet. Present. Very good job. So, hoy sí ya los puedo escuchar un poquitito. Let's go and check this exercise. So, you were discussing about the use of prepositions of time in a real conversation. And we have the conversation between A and B. Y empieza nuestra conversación. How's your new job? I love it. But the hours are difficult. I start work 6.30 a.m. At, in, or on. At, at, at. at. Because we're being specific, very good. At 6.30 a.m. And I work 3.30. And I work 3.30. Until. 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 Oh, very Until. good. Until. Until. 3.30. That's interesting. I work the same hours, but I work at, at, at night. At night. There we go. At night, I start at at, at, at thirty. Uh -huh, exactly. At, at six thirty in the in the in, in the in the. In the in yes, we say in the evening. In the evening. And finish. Finish until 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 three thirty. Okay, at or until. At until. 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 <laughs> okay, once again, at, at or until. Until until. Ah, this is the correct at. one. No, it's until, not. Porque termina until. Miren, until nos está dando un, una franja de tiempo. I start at 6.30 in the evening and I finish until 3.30 a.m. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Yes. Así va. Wow, what time do you get up? Well, I get home. At, at uh -huh. I get home at 4.30 and go to bed. At, 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 yes, at 5.30 and I sleep until, until, ah, now it's until, very good job, until, mm. until 2, but I only work 
On. 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 On weekends. On weekends. She's a lucky girl. She only works on weekends. So it's okay. What about you? Oh, I work. Oh, I work. On. On. on Monday. I work on Mondays, Wednesday, and Friday. And I get up. Early. 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 Uh, early. 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 Around 5 a.m. So, this is the conversation so. that we have. Do you have the same answers or different? The same. The same. Right? Questions about the topic from today. Preguntas sobre el tema de ahora. ¿Cómo estuvo el tema de ahora? Easy, difficult. Interesting. Interesting, yes, right? And it's very useful. Interesting. Very Muy good. útil, créanme. So, y si vamos a la plataforma, I guess we have an exercise. Yeah. Let's check this exercise. exercise. It's, difficult. it's difficult. The exercise yeah. is difficult. Let's see, finish. The yeah. Exercise, dos. 2.9. Dice, finish. complete these sentences with the time expressions. Tratemos de completarlo. Don't you worry. Number one. Okay. What do you have in number one? Uh, Gabriela Lisset. Uh, I get up six. At six. Uh, at on in. At uh, teacher, sorry. At oh, don't worry. At six. Number two, Cesar, I go to bed late. At night. Uh -huh, because we cannot at, say at night. on nine in I nine is on exist. So that's why it's at. Andre, Andrea, number three, please. I start work at. There we go. At 11.30 a.m. Number four, I have lunch. Glenda, please. I have lunch at 2 p.m. And in on. In. In. Mm -hmm. in the afternoon, Carlos Eden, number five. I mm -hmm. stay up at 1 a.m. No. On weekends. Very good job on weekends, Ana Karina. I wake up late. On Sunday. On Sundays, excellent. Jessica Janet, seven, I watch TV. In the evening. In the evening, that's okay. I do my homework, I do my English homework, Emerson. Number eight. I do my homework. Cuatro horas sería around. Exactly. Around four in the afternoon. Sometimes at 4.30, sometimes at 4.40. So around. And let me have number nine. Daisy Magdalena, please. I work on on weekdays. Fatima Esmeralda, number 10 is for you. I get home early in the morning. In the morning from my night shift. Veamos cómo nos salió. Here we go. ¿Cuánto tuvo la teacher en su ejercicio? Yes. 33 yeah. points from 33. Mm -hmm. So it means that, yes, yeah, you did an excellent job. Teacher. Teacher, it's difficult. Uh, you can look at 2.11, 2.11 exercise. Okay. Siempre del mismo tema. Tomémonos un minuto yes. extra, a minute, extra minute. Is, uh, el audio es, es, es ah, es por el audio este, este audio ah. está bastante difícil <risa> está, es que hay que ah, poner estamos, bastante atención estamos, estamos ahí. very fast very fast really, lo sienten rápido don't worry, aquí está la teacher, lo va a ayudar here we go let me open this 
Si tienen la plataforma lista, les va a ser más fácil. Si no, aquí queden la grabación. Here we go. Espérenme. Wait, 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 wait. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Okay, can you hey, listen, listen to now? Rodney, Pueden Tina? Escuchar, yeah? Yes? Yes. Okay, and yes. Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Okay, here we go. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. Okay, listen to me, Rodney, Tina, and roll Ellen me. talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. chef. I'm a chef. chef. I'm a chef. chef. Hey, that's great. That's great. So, what are your work hours like? What are your work hours like? What are your work hours like? Adjetivos. ¿Cómo son sus horas de trabajo? What are your work hours like? Vamos, let's continue. They're okay. They are okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I, I work in the afternoons in the evening. Get up around 9 a.m. And, and I get up around 90. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. in the mornings. Así dijo. I wake up around 9 a.m. in the mornings. Hey, that's great. So... What are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. And I work on... From 11? ¿Escucharon la hora? I work in the afternoons and evenings. Listen. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late. From 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. Wow. About 11 p.m. I get I get to I get home around. Nos pregunta eso. Sí, a qué hora llega? Around. ¿A qué hora? 11. 11 p.m. 11 p.m. And I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And I usually go to bed by 1 in the morning. By one in the morning. Vamos, Tina. And what do you do, Tina? Tina. Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular nine to five office job, so I get up at. It's a regular job. Oh, what, what is here? Uh -huh, office manager. Office manager. 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? I go to bed on midnight on weekdays. Midnight. Vamos a ver, Ellen. Le pregunta que hora se levanta, que hora llega a casa, que hora se va a la cama. ¿Qué vamos? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. She has to get up before 5 5 a.m. in the morning. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. I have long flights, so I get home around 9. Okay. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. And she goes to bed right away at 10. So, in the case that you have problems, en el caso que les traiga incorrecta, tal vez por la escritura, podemos, pueden consultarme o podemos consultar en el, en el chat grupal para ayudarnos todos con ese ejercicio. Sí, tienen razón, sí. un poco Michelle. rápido. Yes, Gladys. Sí, este, yo, yo ya lo hice, ¿verdad? Pero ¿Sí? pensé que no es necesario ponerle intermone a la, esa no que cabal solo, solo la hora. Uh -huh. los, solo ah, la hora. La hora. Uh -huh. Exacto, hora, hay una que todo. dice que ella se levantaba antes de las 5. No salía, sino que le puse Five. las 5. Las 5, ¿verdad? Entonces la, cinco, la hora no que... 
yo tengo problemas donde dice flight attendant, no sé si no lo escribo, no lo escribo bien, me porque too. solo esa me da error. Me attendant es que con doble T. Ese, sí, pero ellas lo ponen con E y es attendant, con A. Attendant. Se escribe -A. con A. Pruébenlo así, porque a, a mí me dio problemas, pero lo puse con A y sí funcionó. ¿Y sí? Attendant. Ajá, sí. Attendant. Okay. Bien, para que quedemos con ese right. ejercicio finalizado ahora y puedan descansar Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Try to complete. Voy a estar acá pendiente de poder ayudarles en caso sea necesario. ¿Ok? If not, ahí está. Flight attendant. Attendant. Ahí está en el chat. If not, we are going to stop the class okay. here. Thank you, class, for joining today. Uh, and I... if... Yes. Sí, ahí está Irma, muy bien. Si necesitan ayuda, ahí estamos pendientes también. So, thank you so much. See you, you okay. until Monday. Ocupemos la expresión okay. until Monday. Bye thank bye. Class. Bye bye. Have a great night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.